the reason that we're putting this on is to give us an opportunity to, to introduce ourselves to the, to the local communities. Our service territory is so spread out, the one member meeting we have a year, our annual meeting, it, it, it's inconvenient for a lot of our customers to be able to attend. So uh, what we're trying is to, to have a fair similar to this in each one of our districts to give the, the individuals who can't drive necessarily to where the annual meeting may be so that they have an opportunity to learn more about the co-op and, and our employees. This is great just doing stuff like this. This has never happened before for any utility company, you know, where they had a member's day. So that's, this is great. This is pretty exciting to see what REC is doing for the community and to see other people, other uh, customers come out. I wanted to see what all is going on and what they have to offer. Um, I've already taken advantage of some of their programs and I wanted to see what else was available. I've had some fun talking. It was amazing to see how thick the gloves are. That, that to me was amazing that the guys used to work on those little tiny wires. Somebody used to be. Yeah. Oh, uh, first of all, because it was an event for a family and I can bring my son and I can, I can see what you guys do for the community and I really, I really like it. And I, I grabbed a lot of flowers and talked with a lot of people and everybody's been very helpful. Uh, I put some hard questions to them. I had one philosophical question that I asked them, and they had to give a, get a laugh out of it. But I said, if a power line falls in the woods and there's nobody there to hear it, did it really fall? And they said everybody down the line wouldn't would call. They might not have heard it fall, but they'd call. Silverware here, chips here. I think the fact that the local Ruritan club is doing the food, the local 4-H clubs. It just exemplifies Rappahannock's, uh, part of Rappahannock's mission of being involved in the communities that we serve. When we first moved here and we needed to establish service, everybody was very helpful, talking me through the process. And, and Jen, just a one-on-one -on -one contact, like several, several of the people we met, I feel like we could even almost call them personally and get a response back keeps the, I guess, the good old down-home feeling, if you will. That's kind of the way it, it seems. I hope, hopefully it'll stay like that. Okay, let's spin the wheel again. As a not-for-profit uh, company, you know, when we finish our, our year, whatever profits we make go back to the customers. And our objective is reliable service at the lowest possible cost. The reliability of the service all goes back to that, you know. And everybody, uh, everybody takes electricity for granted until it's not there. The electricity. Turn off the TV and after you're done and turn off everything after you're done, even the light. This gives us an opportunity to bring other value-added products and services that we have available to our, our member owners that they may not know about otherwise, such as the energy efficiency programs that are available to them, uh, some of the different rates that are available. I like the idea of them uh, trying to teach you how to lower your electrical bill, you know, with the light bulbs and with the, um, the packages, with the insulation and all that, because that really helps out a lot. And I'm all about saving money. Whatever you can do to save me money, I'm for. Our Operation Roundup program is where we allow our customers to round their bill up to the next dollar. All of that money goes into a, a charity that is uh, run by the cooperative, but it distributes that money back out into the communities that we serve. Uh, last year, uh, between the employee contributions and our member contributions, we contributed well over $100,000 back into the communities that we serve. Yes,